Hey everybody, welcome to a very quick rundown of the trade deadline, of course, uh, coming after the 11th hour, which is uh, exactly what happened last year with uh, Anthony Mantha getting traded a half hour after the trade deadline, Vladislav Domestikov has moved, and uh, if you wanted to, man, not be excited about uh, the trade deadline, if you, if you weren't psyched about... Troy Stetcher moving for a seventh. If you weren't excited about the return for Nick Letty, get ready to be stoked about a fourth round pick is uh, is what we're getting here. Brad Galley reporting uh, on Kevin Weeks' report. Uh, the Red Wings are trading Vladislav Nemestikov to the Stars for a fourth round pick. So if you wanted to know the value of your sadness uh, for losing the fan favorite Vladislav Nemestikov, uh, it, it's a fourth round pick. So, uh, not too much to dissect here. It works kind of in the realm what we all can like what we guessed Nemestikov would get. Um, we just talked about uh, Nick Letty's trade. Of course, I I actually thought that was a bit of a fleecing because we did get uh, you know a tried out guy on the left hand side and a bottom six forward. Plus, I really thought condi conditions would have to fit into a second round pick for Letty. Uh, that wasn't the case. Um, but here with Nemestikov, again, is, is another one. You're just getting a fourth round pick. As far as I know, we don't have any conditions attached to it. Um, I think this is right in the realm where I thought it was going to be. So I'm not disappointed. I'm just kind of bored with it. Um, and I'm sad because I wanted a little bit more to have to lose a guy that I think we all fell in love with, with the Jersey poles. Uh, that's gone. We just saw some, uh, go up, uh, you know, throwing fisticuffs. Uh, the other day with Larson. So all good vibes, all good feelings for Nemestikov, but uh, sad ones now that he's, uh, he's on his way out. And for the Dallas Stars, they get um, a guy that, for, for all intents and purposes, uh, can play any aspect of this game. Uh, that includes, if you want to play this game, of like a, a guy who's probably going to be a winger for you but can take face-offs. But like when we picked him up, it was something where you can see him on power plays. You can see him on penalty kills throughout his career. He is the renaissance man. Uh, he does everything an NHL player can do. Uh, is he the best in the league at any of it? Um, he's very serviceable. So <laughs> for Dallas Stars fans, just know you're gonna guy you're gonna get a guy who's putting in a lot of heart and can put that heart into so many different places. He can answer so many different. Uh, holes or or fill those holes uh, for any franchise. It's just uh, from the perspective of, you know, all-star, we know it's not in that realm, but uh, you're going to fall in love with this guy, just like we did. His heart gets put out there, and there is enough skill to be attached that uh, won't be anything where it's just all heart that you're excited about. Uh, there's a lot to like about Vladislav, and there's a lot we're, we're going to miss. Um, and so I'm bummed, uh, but I'm doing a live one here because I don't feel like doing all the editing on the back end or on the back side here. So I'm going to wrap this up real quick. Curtis shout out. Um, I'm glad you're, you're coming around right from the get go. Poor Domestikov just wants to go somewhere and stay. <laughs> that does stink, stink for Vladdy that, uh, he keeps getting pushed around. And I, I really did think he had a home. So long story short with that thought maybe coming back at the end of the year, unless Dallas truly does fall in love with them. Uh, Chewy, picks are valuable, and maybe he'd come back. You never know. That's it right there. Uh, I'll take the pick. I'm super sad that he's gone. But, yeah, I think in the end of the day, it's not anything you're you're disappointed uh, from the aspect of what you get for Vladislav Nemestikov. I think we're all just going to be bummed for a little bit here that, uh, that he is gone. But – it seems like that's how we're wrapping up the trade deadline. I don't think we're going to get anything an hour after the trade deadline. I'm going to take a peek and just make sure there's nothing new to talk about. It just seems like some of the deets on the Max Domi deal are coming in, but who cares about that? Uh, Jesperi Kokanyemi, an eight-year contract. Hey, you some teams will trade away Nadelkovic for a draft pick and also give Kokanyemi an eight-year deal. That's what some teams do, not what we do. Tons of flexibility on the wing dings. Still trusting that Iser plan, so thumbs up all around for the trade deadline. Wasn't the most exciting thing in the world. We got those teases from Emily Kaplan that there was something brewing. Apparently it didn't happen, didn't brew enough. Uh, but uh, hey, you guys, 
I'm going to say we did get a fleecing. We said we'd be giving away some fleeces on our next live episode. So tune in Wednesday night uh, to Red Wings Rant. We'll have our uh, Iser Plan fleece available. Why don't we do two? Let's just call this one a fleece so we can give away two sweatshirts. You guys want to tune in so you don't miss that. It is a beautiful sweatshirt, by the way. Also, you can customize it. Uh, it's a big, bright red uh sweatshirt is this the red hat yeah it is uh you can make it black if you want uh if you want to be more subtle with your sweatshirts but any hoozles tune in we'll be giving them away thanks for tuning into this doesn't hurt i'm knocking my headphones out of my ears so this is not ending well but uh yeah trades today don't hurt at all uh not super exciting not super juiced up but uh i'd say a not disappointing iser plan trade deadline yet again all right. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. Uh, like I said, we'll see you on Wednesday.